Okay, so hi everyone, it's Kira here. Welcome back to another video. Today you will see that I am not on Star Stable at all, I'm on YouTube, and that is because the new spoiler has just come out two days well, it's not just come out, but it came out two days ago, and I'm so excited to watch it. I've not watched this through at all, so I don't we're watching this together. So I think we should just get right into it. Right, so this video is um, all the credit goes to CC Creations. I haven't done anything, but I'm going to watch it. So I think we should just start. Sadly, something is going wrong with my um, screen recording, so we have to watch it like this. But you can zoom in if you want, um, if you've got the facilities. <laughs> right. I'm really excited for this. Can you? Should I turn it down a little bit? I think I should. So, this isn't, I'm not sure if it's official. No, I don't think it is. So, the February! <gasps> Wait, that's in four days, isn't it? Next Wednesday, then. Right, so this is the walk. Yeah, I, I really like this. It's really cute. Yeah, I. let's just um, rewind on the walk a little bit here. Yeah, I like the walk. It's very um, subtle and gentle, which I like about this, so I really like that. That's a trot. The trot's really cute. It kind of reminds me of like a dog, like a hello, like my dog. Um, but I really like that. The canter, yeah, I really like the canter. Um, oh, no, this is going really fast. Um, the only trouble with the canter is, if you, as you can see here, um, the bum kind of shrinks in. You know what I mean? Like here, it's like really small, and then it comes out really wide so that's the only problem but it isn't finished yet so it might change it might not but that's only a small detail so so this is a slow gallop yeah is it i really like the slow gallop but again the um thingy comes in but that's the gallop for some reason i'm not sure if this is just my opinion um but the slow that i mean the fast gallop um kind of reminds me of like a Gen 1. Do you know like Generation 1 horse? I, just, I don't know why. If you look here. Look. Do you know what I mean? I, it just gives me Generation 1 vibes. See what I mean? Like the legs kind of like. I don't know. The reverse is cute. I like the reverse. Oh. That rear lich. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is. Oh. That is so cute. Oh, you're going to hear me say it is. Oh. And wow. But that rear is probably one of oh shush squirty thing. Um so this rear is probably one of the best rears I've ever seen. Definitely over the Frisians rear, and I think we can all agree on that. Um but oh it's so cute and adorable. So let's keep going. Yeah, it's so cute. It's nothing too fancy, but it's nothing too basic either, so that's good. The stop's cute. I like, I really like, it's very detailed this horse, so you put a lot of effort into this horse. Yeah, I really like the hard stop. The jump, oh, that's so cute. It kind of reminds me of the Jovic Frisian's jump and the Jovic Wild Horse's jump mixed together. You know what I mean? It just kind of reminds me of that. Yeah. I, I love that jump though. Oh, okay. I mean, it's gonna be the same, but they've not fixed that yet. <laughs> That'd be fun if that was actually the real thing, though. Oh, this thing, this horse, this pony is so cute. And it looks like the horse I ride in real life as well. It really does. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, so... I think the coats are in these, so we will be looking at the coats, and I think I will be buying two of them. So I will see which coats I like best, and I will buy them when they come out, so stay tuned for that. It's so cute. Oh, it's well cute. It, it's like a little baby, you know what I mean? It's like a little, it reminds me of like a Shetland pony. <gasps> they need to be adding them to the game, but this is a golden, so... The Gotland, oh, it's so cute. I love their name, Gotland, as well. Gotland, it's so Scottish, I don't know why. Is it a Scottish pony? I don't even know. 
It's so cute. I love the, how it's the warm w wishes as well. <laughs> the warm wish set. Karen. Oh, wait. That's so cute. That's so cute. Oh, oh, why do you want to steal it away? I mean, oh no, <laughs> the chin's going in, but I guess that's with every horse anyway. There's always a glitch with the carry. The, I can't really see what it looks like, but it's fine. Oh, the hay. Eek. Um, that needs to be fixed. Because it looks like the horse in the blue pants, which is realistic. Like, oh, so these are the coats, yay. So this is the bay with a white, um, so this is the two-tone one. So it's got like a white belly underneath and then it's got a bay back. I don't really like the razor cut, if, in my opinion, I don't really like razor cuts on any horse, but anyway. So, oh no, what's happening here? What is happening here? This... There's like a look. <laughs> there's like a gap. So th this pony's uh, this pony is all a lie. It has no mane. It's a wig. Don't <laughs> don't be fooled. Oh wait, hold on. That was a glitch. That was a glitch. Look, the neck goes into its chest when it goes down to graze. You know what I mean, right here. You can see the line. Hopefully they'll fix that. Um, but yeah. So far, so good. I like these main styles. That one's pretty cute. I think I would keep the original main though. Um, I mean, just because it's one of the best ones. Yeah, I think I would keep the original. <gasps> no, never mind, never mind. But I said this main is for all of the horses. This, oh my gosh, it's so cute. They, this is so like out of the box as well. Like, Star Stable hasn't done anything like this before. So I think it's really good that they went out of the box for this. So, anyway, let's keep watching. I love this horse already. So, is this a different one? Or is it the same one? Oh, no. This is, um, a, like, a dark bay. It kind of gives me, like, a purple vibe. I don't know why. It's, like, if you, like, clicked any, like, it's, like, um, like, back thing. I feel like you'd pick, you'd see purple, but it just gives me purple vibe. But if you look here, that's so much detail. Like this, like it's like dark around here, and it look at its little like dapples here, which is cute. On two it's so cute. I love I love these horses so much. Um, oh, it doesn't look like it's glitched with this one, the uh, main, which is good. I mean, sorry for the the fan. It's not as bad on YouTube, but on Star Sable, it's horrendous. Um, so sorry about that if you can hear it. I really like these. I really, I love the main styles, how there's so much, like, choice. You, there's no, like, like, with the Jorvik Warmblood, you literally have, like, three. But, um, I like how there's a lot of main styles for this horse. Oh, so is this it? Is this a Palomino? I feel like it's, or is it Chestnut? I'm not sure. It's either Palomino or Chestnut, so. Oh, I like this one. It's really cute. I think it might be a Chestnut, you know, it's too dark to be a Palomino. But, oh, this, they're really cute. They're really well-made horses. Like, they're, they're, they're really, like, they're really thought out and they're very detailed. Um, obviously they're not finished yet, so there will be a few glitches um, in this video. Oh, go away! Right. Oh, this one's so cute. This one is so cute. Do you call it a black horse? Do you call it? I feel like you don't call it black horse. For a jet black. But this is more like of a matte grey, like a dark, really dark matte grey. Oh, have you seen them pearls? Look at them. That eye colour, I love that eye colour. This is, it's just so magical. Oh, radiator. Braids really suit that horse, but um, I don't think I, I don't really put braids in horses. Only the ones that don't have that for me. Box skin. Oh, is it a 
book skin? I'm not sure. Is it too light light to be a book skin? I'm not sure. It's is I think it might be a book skin and I Oh, go away Simon. Sorry. Um so I think it might be a book skin because everyone has been request requesting a book skin because we don't have a lot of book skins. We've only got like Okay, sorry about that guys. Um as I was saying, we only have like two book skins, the architect and the spirit mustang thing that I don't know what a thing baby, oh my gosh. Oh I just give a spoiler. <laughs> we two spoilers in this video. <laughs> so my name isn't Kira, it's Daisy. Boom. <laughs> I can't believe I just give that away. Anyway. Let's get um let's keep going. Let me turn this down a little bit because it's getting a little bit loud. Just a little bit. There we go. Oops, sorry. So this is the book skin. I absolutely love book skins. I I think it is a book skin, I'm not sure, but there is a YouTuber, um, I won't say her name because I'm not sure if she wants me to say her name, um, but, um, she, yeah, um, so she has a horse literally just like this, and, um, she said it's coat name, and I've, it wasn't a book skin, but this might be a book skin, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's keep going. It's so cute, this one. This one, it's so, um... Like, it's so plain, like, the coat's plain and it's got, like, no markings on it, but that's what makes it so good and detailed, um, and it's so fluffy, look at it. So they've taken the Orvik Wild Mane, which is interesting, because this horse does really give me Orvik Wild horse vibes really much. Dun, 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 dun. Then plaps. I... I feel like they don't go as well with this coat, but we'll see. Let's, oh, so this is the paint horse, right? Please don't come at me. Please don't go at me. I I'm not a fan of paint horses. <laughs> uh, people are gonna come at me like, how dare you? Paint horses are the best, but I I'm not a fan of them. I'm not sure why. I just I feel like they're very odd looking, um, I know a particular YouTuber would kill me for that, um, but, I'm, yeah, they're not my favourite, um, we'll say, so, let's keep going. I mean, they're, they're all, they're okay. Oh, but it's eyes, I love them type of eyes, eyes on horses, like that type of blue, it's so pretty. I mean, don't get me wrong, I mean, if I had to buy this horse, I would, um, but it's not for me, really. Play, stop pausing. I think the braids suit this horse the best, um, I don't know why, they just do. No, the, oh, they, they do that tongue thing, like the, like the Jorvik, um, Frisian, which is cute. Oh, so this one is for Star Sable Horses. That just got updated, didn't it, with the nab stripper? I think it did. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, uh, um, the new nab stripper. Yeah, that's what got updated. This horse is like Anna. Do you know from Frozen? It's like Anna. Do you know like how she has like red hair? Like, do you know that white streak when she got by Elsa? That that's the thing. Look here, Elsa. Do you want to build a snowman? Oh, wait, did I just see that? No, hey, <laughs> no wrapping here. This eye, you can clearly see it's blue. Unless you color blind, it's blue. Let me just tell you that. Okay, now this is brown. This, it's got ugh, fan. This, um, stop, please. This, this is brown. Oh, I've never seen a horse like this before. I'm not sure if horses can have this. Um, they might do, but um, I'm not sure if they do. Um, but I feel like with these horses, they've gone, they've not just gone on the safe side and just gone what they always do, like with some of the horses that they've done before. They've gone totally out of the box. Um, they've done something a bit risky and they've totally pulled it off. So how many times did I say totally then? Um, anyway, let's keep keep going. 
Yeah, I do really like this one. I don't, I won't be buying it because it's on the Star Stable horses and I would never have the time to do that. Um, so they're sold at South Hoof. So I can see a little Shinko Teague there. So they must be sold like in like the same pen kind of thing. What they called? Past paddocks. Shh, Daisy. Oh, right. Okay. So that's like the Shinko Teague. So they will be sold together, I think. So they're going to be sold at South Hoof. Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Okay, I'm gonna read this. Well, I'm gonna try anyway. I've just done a load of homeschooling, so if I've got any reading errors, don't judge me, please. Big things come in small packages. That's certainly true in the equestrian world. You'll you as as you'll be able to like. Start again. <laughs> As you'll be a harder pressed to find a more capable companion than Sweden's beloved. Oh, so the Swedish. They're not. They're not Scottish. Big brain over here. Mm -hmm. Um, cultivated on the Swedish island of Gotland since prehistoric times. This breed is one of the most direct links we have to ancient wild horses that once covered Europe. Herds of these scrogros. Scrogros. I don't know names, I've never heard of it. All little forest horses roamed free on the islands for centuries, even today. Um, a feral, a, fer, a feral, ha, a feral herd of these hearty ponies um, roams protected on the south of, are they replacing the, the herd? Are they, the Mustangs aren't they the herd on South Hoof? Do you know the ones that run about and you've got to do that quest with Herman, Hermit? <laughs> Herman. Um, so will these be replacing them? I wonder. They they might be. Let's read some more. The Gotland Pony is a sturdy breed. Adept. Uh, is that adept? My screen's quite blurry, um, so I can't really read it properly. I think it is adept at living off the land with a heritage as a steadfast, steadfast, steadfast. Shh. Right. <laughs> Workhorse. Famous for its in. in no appetite in in state instatable and in, i sounded american then whoa these compact companions will move mountains to reach a tiny patch of grass with a mischievous with a mischievous and lively intellect the gotland pony requires a rider to be one step ahead to keep it out of trouble but the breed is enormously kind making it the fine first horse for new riders Long celebrated in Sweden, today the Gotland Pony is finding new fans around the world as an ideal training horse. Light on its feet, the breed makes for excellent trotters and jumpers. Yeah, the trot's really cute. I, it'd be good for, like, pony dressage, I'd say. And the jump, I, well, I've not really seen the jump because it hasn't finished yet, but um, it looks pretty good from what I've seen. On your Vic, the breed is a favourite companion for explorers as the, as the athletic ponies are keen to carry riders across to any terrain. This is, oh, right, this is the last one. Hungry, stubborn and loyal, this little fella, this little fella is basically the hobbit, hobbit of the horse world, but there's more than one. Anyway, find out, find out for yourself what makes a Gotland Pony Swedish, sweet, Gotland Pony Sweden's most popular small horse breed sorry swedish um s swedish people and if i said golden ponies are scottish i'm very sorry i am not good with geography is it even called geography i don't know so they're gonna be hold it sold it so uh, yeah and 750 oh there's this girl eighteen thousand in my dreams um, so this, the price is going to be 750 which is really exciting. I have 56 mm -hmm. But I will be buying some because I have been saving up, um, maybe like 2000 or something like that. So I can, yeah, 2000 or something, 1500 maybe like that. Um, so yeah, I think this is the end. Yes, so thank you for watching and thank you so much CC Creations for sharing this with us. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button and I will see you next time. The next video will maybe be about the Gotland Ponies or maybe I will do an extra one. So, bye baby!